Today we are speaking to Chaim Evan Zohar, world expert on rough diamonds and the moderator of the upcoming third international rough diamond conference in Israel. Chaim, thank you for joining us today. A pleasure. The DTC recently reduced the number of site holders from 93 to 75. Aside from this, the company announced that Ruff will be sold in Botswana to 16 site holders and in Namibia to 11 site holders. How will the elimination of so many site holders affect the world industry? Let's forget about the numbers. Uh, it's the principle, it is the structure that has changed. Instead that Ruff enters into the market directly through the established uh, cutting centers or through the trading markets, the ROF is now channeled primarily, or to a large extent, uh, through Southern African countries. It's a new system, it's a new structure. It's part of the beneficiation process of those countries, but it's also in a way part of a new kind of self-determination or, or independence in diamonds of the governments of the relevant countries. Now, site holders whose site was cancelled have the right to appeal the decision. Do you expect to see many appeals? And what do you think the company's chances are of overturning the decision? I don't think that suing will do much. I don't think the chance of winning. And if you win, what do you get? Uh, they're, they're forced to give the beers you in another four or five more allocations. And then you hope that you don't lose money on those. <laughs> uh, so um, I think we'll hear a lot of noise, but I think for practical purposes we'll hear less. The DTC claims that its criteria for choosing site holders are highly professional and objective. Would you like to comment on this? I think that they have made an honest attempt to come up with a good list. Um, by and large, site holders are still um, the best companies in the business. Uh, um, I have some reservations. I believe that certain people should have been dropped for best practice principles. I think they should uh, even more look at ethical and other uh, aspects. But by and large, they've got a system that works. And um, given the constraints, I think they've done a good job. And I. And although I like to criticize them, I also want to give them credit when credit is due. Thank you very much, Chaim. Thanks.